So tell us about this um, study recently in choosing convenience over security and about the findings, Gary. Yeah, well, there's, there's several findings, but some of the key takeaways from the study was, you, you know, that, that we saw a, a pretty significant increase in people desiring to disconnect when they go on holiday, and they really should. You know, that's the, the intent of going on summer vacation is to kind of decompress, recharge your batteries, and things like that. So if you can do it without your device, that's going to make your vacation that much more enjoyable. Last year, we had 45% of people said they were going to disconnect. This year, we saw 81%. So that was a pretty dramatic increase year over year. Another couple of interesting findings is the fact that, you know, most millennials or those 20 to 30-year-olds were more were better able to disconnect than their older peers. And a lot of people find that odd because, well, hold on, these millennials, they, they, they spend their whole existence online when, in fact, they're better and more in tune to, you know, how to disconnect once they, if they want to disconnect more so than some of the older people. And another interesting you know, takeaway that at least I find interesting is that, that um, people live in an urban environment, city environments, 54% of them um, felt they would be anxious if they disconnected when on holiday, where if you're from a, a more rural area, 39% of people there are, are of the opinion that, oh, yeah, yeah, I can disconnect and be fine with it. Interesting finding. Tell us about the dangers of logging on to unsecure Wi-Fi and how to tell if it's secure or not. Yeah. You know, the, the issue with, with connecting to an unsecure Wi-Fi is that what, any data you transmit can be captured by whoever is, is, is hosting that capability. So if you do any banking transaction, any shopping, anything where you're going to be disclosing things like passwords or, or um, you know, financial information like credit card information, all that information could be captured when you're going over public Wi-Fi. So that's why we caution people, if you need to connect and you need to do things like web browsing to find a restaurant, that's fine because you're not disclosing any information. but if you do anything that's going to you know, use things like passwords or credit card information or things like that, do those using your cell phone because you're much less likely to have something bad happen. So how can we stay connected to vacation and still stay safe? Well, you know, a couple things. First of all, um, as we talked about, you know, understand, use the same browsing behaviors that you use at home when you're on vacation. You know, make sure you have antivirus running. Make sure that you're connected to a, a a safe Wi-Fi. You know, if, if, if you're unsure of that, about that, use a VPN. You know, a VPN is going to create a, a secure tunnel between your device and the Internet. Use a VPN if you feel you really have to connect. Um, you're not sure about whether or not the, the, the um, Wi-Fi is safe or not. You know, another important thing you should do before you go on holiday is make sure that, that your devices are all up to date. The system updates are applied and the application updates because in almost every situation, those include security fixes. And then make sure you have you know, security software installed on, on every device you can because that's going to you know, inform you when something bad is about to happen. You're about to go to a bad website. You're about to connect to a, a bad Wi-Fi. Having those insights will, will, will assure that you're having a more um, a, a safer online experience. So what advice do you have for people who do get hacked and personal information is stolen while they're on vacation? You know, the, the only thing we can, the only advice we can give there, if you have information stolen while you're on vacation, go into the sites where you think your information is compromised and change your passwords. You know, one of the big challenges in our industry is that once your information has is, is been compromised, it's out there. You know, it's not like consumers can go to the dark web and say, well, I want to take this information back. So, you know, if, if you have, you know, your bank or, some other you know organization that you work with that's been compromised the thing you should do immediately is go in and change your password and make sure it's something that that is not going to be easy for a, a hacker to figure out great so where can we go for more information you go to my twitter handle which is at gary j davis g-a-r-y-j-d-a-v-i-s i have pinned this study at the top of my um my Twitter profile, my Twitter uh, feed, and you can get all the information from the study and, and other tips you can do to be safe online when you're on summer vacation. Great. Thanks for your time today, Gary. Thank you, Cynthia. Take care.